This exhibition was made possible through a new collection we've built at the Fitzwilliam Museum of money related to themes of conflict, of protest, dissent, revolution and war. I'm Rich Kelleher, curator of Defaced Money, Conflict, Protest. The space you see me in now has actually been defaced itself. The architecture that's been created for this exhibition is the setting in which we show objects that have never been seen before. In the exhibition we look at issues of value and control. We look at money that has been attacked. Money that has been stamped to be put back in circulation. Coins that have been defaced to provide political messaging and circulate propaganda. And we look at money that has been used as a vehicle for protest. Throughout the exhibition, we contextualise the small stuff with big objects. Protest banners, placards, prints, satirical drawings, and even some major artillery. At the start of the exhibition, we ask you to think about ideas of value and control. We do this by showing these historic periods where gold was kept for governmental use and paper money was pushed out on the public in profusion. And sometimes this worked, at other times it caused severe social and political problems. We show a number of coins that have been attacked in various ways. Figures of power on those coins have been mutilated, overprinted, or have engravings put on them. Other coins are less about attacking authority, but making an important political point. Campaigns for rights and representation. The suffragette movement and the Black Lives Matter movement are two key concepts shown through the defacement of money in this show. Moving out of this gallery, you're confronted by a golden transit van that was exploded as part of a campaign to wipe out 1.2 million pounds of payday debt. This project by the Ho Street Central Bank in Walthamstow is a fantastic example of positive activism. Some of the material in the gallery on poverty is really urgent. They look at some of the big issues that we experience today of inequality of wealth, the imbalance that we see in society. As we move into the next space, we have a change of tone. Both the architecture of the room and the material inside tell a different story. These stories are all about different aspects of money during conflict. And we look at them through themes such as commemoration, emergency money, internment and occupation and resistance. One of the larger spectacular objects we have in the exhibition is the wolf gun, which was a howitzer made during the siege of Mafeking during the Anglo-Boer War in 1901. The wolf gun was the centrepiece to some emergency money created by Baden Powell, who was a commanding officer of Mafeking. And he used it as a kind of symbol of resistance or survival within that context and both the Mafeking siege money, Baden Powell's drawings, and the gun itself have been brought together for the first time since 1901. The next section of the exhibition is called Opposing Sides, and this looks at the extremes of ideology that were experienced in the run-up to the Second World War with the material from the Spanish Civil War, and also the sectarian violence experienced in Northern Ireland from the 1960s to the 1990s. The new collection we've built of money from Northern Ireland is exceptional and includes some unique pieces. One says smash H block and refers back to the hunger strikes of 1981. Another simply says Lenny, Lenny Murphy, who was the notorious leader of the Shankill Butchers, a loyalist murder gang. In the show, we have an amazing array of contemporary money art. They are collages with dollars shredded up and put back together. They can be Venezuelan notes of little, very little value that have been converted into sculptures that are sold on the street. There is also one of my favourites, which is a giant $100 bill by the artist J.S.G. Boggs. Street art is woven throughout the show and plays an important role for some of the money artists. In the exhibition, you'll see pieces by Stick and a number of pieces by Banksy, including his influential die face tenors. The show ends with a section called Money Now, Money Tomorrow. And that section looks at the refugee crisis through a number of monetary objects and also ask the question about the future of money as a form of material that can be used in protest at all and in the future will there be any way for individuals to make their protest you can find out more at the, on the fitzwilliam museum website and i hope you enjoy your visit thank you